project-based classes, the plans are usually pretty simple because it's just part of the project, but then I pace my students at birdie par or bogey. All paces are acceptable. It just kind of helps with student pacing in project-based learning. One thing I have recently decided is that I'm going to start kind of facilitating that those paces come with a, a certain type of role or responsibility. So uh, I'll go into some examples for each one. So if you're slightly ahead of schedule, I'm usually teaching you steps I haven't taught whole class through direct instruction. I probably won't. My expectation will be that you will show those steps to the PAR students. And if you're right on schedule, you should be looking at those that are moving a little bit ahead and seeing, getting a great snapshot of your next action steps as well as a lot of times that they're moving faster they're making a few more mistakes and that you can watch those and then the expectations I have for someone who's slightly behind schedule is to make sure that they're not you're using that time wisely you're on task but you're also looking ahead hopefully you're receiving some instruction but you should take the responsibility to kind of like the par students with birdie look ahead and see what you guys is, is you're moving ahead of schedule you're right on schedule, or maybe you're moving slightly behind schedule. And, and these are all perfectly acceptable. There's really not a hierarchy per se. Project-based learning definitely has its place, but it's easily abandoned. And I completely understand why it's abandoned by teachers. It is very tough to manage. You've got materials that you want to have normally. You've got students moving at different paces. The results are very tangible. I've thought about changing that from tortoise to rabbit because, you know, the tortoise does win the race. I'm not trying to get you hitting a birdie, and birdie does sound more positive. Uh, but my students actually told me that turtle and rabbit would actually be kind of patronizing, so they like this system more. In the hour, while they're doing cleanup, I just do a quick kind of roll call style. All right, hey, Aaron, where are you at? And then I hit this button, it comes down to a drop down. And then I can change what that student, what pace that student's moving at. Cool about that is that table is linked to this document on my PowerPoint presentation. Okay, so all I gotta do is hit update and it automatically brings to life everything that I just recorded. Let's put on a looping slideshow, which yeah, I can't zoom in from here, but which is on that, the slideshow is working on that TV screen. So not only do they have their birdie par bogey objectives listed at one point on this slideshow, they also have their individual papers. Quick snapshot of a management strategy I use. It's not flawless, but, it's, but it does provide results. Uh, especially with my particular, the groups I have right now, I have really great groups of students. They, they really deliver. So uh, if you got questions about that, hit me up. I'll show you in more. Better yet, uh, give me a page from your book if you see something that might help me.